Okay, how's it going guys? This is uh, Super RC Noob and I'm giving you, I uh, guess, an out of the box review uh, on the uh, Super Flying model uh, field box so, um, or otherwise known as uh, the model fancy box uh, funny name, don't know why it's called a fancy box um, it's actually not as fancy as the picture so uh, it actually comes uh, just plain wood. Uh, it says that you have to paint it yourself. So what I'll do, we'll take this uh, top off and we'll get the lid off there. Okay, so we've got some instructions which look pretty simple. Uh, I guess it's just a parts list by the looks of things. Can't see that so much. So, but um, yes, yeah, just a parts list by the we'll have a quick look and we'll just have a look at these. I guess these so uh, Looks like the tilt tray. Uh, just bits of wood here. Um, it looks like, I guess that pops out. Yep, that might be very well for the power board. Uh, little die cut out sort. It comes with cut part pretty easily. See that little hand? That's my little helper for today. Um, so what I'm going to do is. So this looks like an end there. Oh yeah, it's a pre-cut. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, put this thing together today, and we'll, we'll show you the finished product and see how it goes. I guess it's a bag of goodies there. Some feet, some washers. Looks like it's nails. Uh, nails and perhaps screws that it goes together. So we'll get together there and uh, put it all together and show you the finished product. Alright, we'll catch up with you soon. Okay, so I have finished the build. Uh, and it was pretty easy, really. Uh, the instructions were useless. So I didn't really use those except for where the parts fit. Um, but as you can see, I've got my Tri-40, my trainer. I've got the wings off, of course, uh, sitting in the cradle there. Um, so I'll just take that off quickly so we can have a look around the final product there, I'll just bend it down, okay so we'll have a look around at the bits, uh, there's your tool tray, I've glued that in um, because nails would split this this piece here, it's, it's pretty thin, um, this piece here, uh, everything else is pretty sturdy, uh, this is about the same thickness as the tray so obviously there's no nails in that at all, uh, we've got the stretcher cord for your fuel tank goes there, or your fuel gallon box, whatever. Uh, it's held on by some little battery ter terminals that I just squeezed together. And there's some uh, screws obviously holding that in. Uh, around this side will go. Um, this is where obviously your power box goes and your battery goes on the inside there. Um, I've got this little piece of wood holding it in there for now. Um, but if you look in here, there's a little screw hole there where the instructions show you, they don't tell you of course, to uh, screw it together so it acts like a hinge and it opens like that I guess. Um, it doesn't really work. This this piece here is so thin uh, the screw is almost too big uh, to fit it. So oh, I did away with that. Um, a little helper can grab that for me. Um, but other than that, I mean it's a pretty good, pretty solid little thing. Um, plenty of nails left over. Um, as you can see, I've got a few nails on the bottom here and a couple there just holding on the side. Uh, and on the end, on the end I have a, quite a few nails because um, I was just trying to use up nails, I guess. Uh, I don't think it needs that many nails that they've given you. I must have, oh, I must have at least 10 or 15 nails left over. Um, so yeah, if my little helper can help me up in the drawer, she's going to open the drawer for me, my little helper. And there we go. That's the drawer, um, the cavity of course. Now the only thing that I would say about this build was the drawer. Uh, I had to glue it in, had to glue it together uh, because uh, the same, this same thickness is the same as the tool tray and it's the same as the power box holder. Um, it's very thin and I think the nails would actually split it so I, uh, I just glued it all in. Uh, it took me a little while to figure that out, really. Um, we'll put that drawer back in. Thank you, little helper. If you can do that for me, thank you. 
Um, and it's got obviously got the foam up here to keep the plane safe. Uh, obviously your handle there. Um, but all in all, it's a, it was a pretty easy build. And um, I'd say it took me about half an hour, maybe a little longer. Uh, but it was relatively easy. So, uh, thank you very much.